right hello YouTube my name is Avikash today I'm going to show you how to open Microsoft Access database in full screen mode that is to open the database file without showing Microsoft Access so it looks like a, a professional application uh, as you can see I have a simple uh, Microsoft Access file over here I'm just gonna open it to show you what I mean now as you can see as a this is Microsoft Access database but there is no sign of Microsoft Access opening and you can see it's saying my database and there's all my buttons and you can put uh, buttons however you like if I click from one and my form opens I can enter data here and say and then close form it comes up to main menu and I when I press exit it exits out of the database so no sign of Microsoft Access not even down here not even application icon nothing okay Microsoft Access is a very powerful uh, software oh, let me just open it inside Microsoft Access uh, I can see here are my forms and uh, okay let me show you how I did it okay the trick is very simple actually uh, this is my form one if I have any de design view this is the menu it's showing and when I click the button form one it uh, it actually opens this form form two but uh, now to make it all run outside of Microsoft Access what we do is we create another form blank form as you can see here design and put uh, just a background color nothing on it and on this form you write some codes uh, very simple uh, just uh, on this uh, forms uh, sorry uh, select form here on this form on load event you write this code very simple codes uh, just write do cmd dot maximize so when the form starts it maximize and then also open the first form you want to open eh? this is the form uh, code for opening the form so so when your database start this form will go maximize and it will open form one okay another thing you need to do is uh, uh, go up to file menu and uh, options and on your current database you can change the application icon so Microsoft Access icon doesn't show and data database name and uh, it says uh, which form it will open uh, when your database start then you have to select background so your background form that form will open and on load the code will fire and the form will go maximize and your form form 2 will show but w but the one thing to note is uh, when you do this it will run inside access so how to make it run outside access that's the key of this tutorial so what you do is you select your form this is the form let me close this one it's the form and on your forms all properties you go to all properties of the form and uh, scroll up sorry and you see pop-up you set pop-up to yes that's the trick you set pop up to yes then this form will uh, pop out of access and uh, Microsoft Access will no longer show uh, another thing you will uh, need to remember is the first form showing that is this main menu let me close this form so no more con no, uh, no save. Uh, okay uh, another thing to remember on this form you have also all the other forms you're using you have to set the sorry the pop-up property to yes here and on this form also you have to set the model property to yes so what will happen is this form will be always on top the model property says to make the form always on top otherwise what will happen if you don't set the model property to yes is uh, when you click on the background form which will be outside all over here this this form will go this uh, th that will come on the foreground and this will hide so you have to set the model properties to yes so this form will be always on top and uh, to navigate uh, that is uh, actually uh, out of uh, the sorry not covered in this course but i will just want to show it to navigate select form one and on click event of this form you can see 
I'm just uh, closing this form and opening another form. That's all you have to do. It's a bit too simple coding, but uh, the the, uh, the key to this tutorial is uh, this. Just just have to set sorry, uh, select form over here. Uh, just to to set the proper property of the form to yes. Hopefully this will help you and happy coding. Okay, thank you.